hello guys victor here so in today's video i'm going to teach you how to edit deploy and upload your website on the netlify platform for free yes if you're a developer you have developed your website you have actually um built your website on your computer using vs code or any other coding platform you have out there and you are looking for a way to develop it to deploy it online for free or to upload it online for free the netlify platform is a very good one for you so in this video i'm going to teach you how you can get started how you can upload your website without paying any single thing without making any payment so to get started just come to netlify platform you can access it via netlify.com so once you get to netlify.com you'll be um you can easily access it so as you can see this is the netlify platform So Netlify is a, um, it's literally not a flip free platform, but you can actually make use of it to do what you want to do. So to get started, you have to click on sign up. Now, once you click on sign up, you can either sign up with GitHub, GitLab, Gitbucket, or with your regular email. So if you have a GitHub account, you can sign up with GitHub. For those of you who don't, don't know what this platform are, they are actually developers platform where you can deploy your codes for free or you can make them private or public or you can get code from there. But literally this platform are for developers. So you can use any of them to sign up on the GitHub platform. But if you don't want to use on the Netlify platform, sorry, but if you don't want to use any of this, it's actually fine. You can sign up with your regular email. So you just click on sign up with your email and then you enter your email address. So if you enter your email address, assume this is your email address, you enter it on the um, right here and then you're going to click on sign up. So once you click on sign up, they're going to send a verification email to your uh, computer. So let me to your Gmail. So let me see if I have that. Okay, I do have that. So as you can see, they sent me a verification email when I registered. So you have to click on verify and then you'll be taken to your account. It is very basic and very easy. Everyone can do this. So the next part is logging in. So on Netlify, to log in, you just come downward and then click on login. So I'm not going to save this. So just click on login. So now you're going to enter your um, the email address which you use in registering the account and then the password. Then once you do that, you'll be taken to your account. So let's go to the account. So now this is my account. So I signed up. Now for this account, I actually use GitHub to sign up. So I really do not did not use my email. Or true for that, um, this is my main account. For the tutorial which I was doing before, I actually use the um email option. But for this one, it's a different account I did with GitHub. I sign up with GitHub. So to sign up with GitHub, you just go to GitHub, the GitHub platform, and then you just um create an account the same way. Go to GitHub.com and then you create an account, and then you'll be uh, giving an account you can use it to then sign up on the netlify platform now if you get to the netlify platform on the left side you have your team overview this is where you can um, overview most of the things on the platform so on the first part you can see if it's just a startup plan you're using which is a free plan so yes it's a free plan so this is just me now if you have a website already on github on gitlab and um, uh, any of those um coding platform you can actually import them from here if you want to use github uh, plat sites to build or a github template template from notion and other platform you can browse template for there but if you want to upload your website directly from your computer you can click on this part and do that yourself so now the next part you have your site this is where you see the number of websites you have deployed on the platform so they all show up on this place where you can edit them where you can change some of the things there this is where you see it. The next part you have the build. So say keep track of everything you build across your team. Team, as you can see, you could go through with them. So you could start new site from Git. So you could build a site from this area also. Then the next part you have your integration. So your integration has to do with you linking up GitHub with um, a lot of platform. So you just you see the CMS here. So this is it. This database. So you can enable GitHub on any of this platform. Sorry, Net, sorry guys, it's actually Netlify. So you can enable Netlify on any of this platform or you could build the plugin with any of this platform. So the next part, you have your domain. So on domain, you have um, 
you can actually get a domain from this part you could actually add one which you already purchased or you could um, register a new one so to do that just click on it and then it will ask you to add the domain or you could actually register it so the next part you have your member now if you have other people on your team which you have to upgrade your account in order for you to have that you can uh, um, you can set them up here or you can actually add them here so the next part is your audit log so every of this of this part actually needs you to upgrade your account now that we have i have explained right on the right side you have your account and support and news so those are the basic things now how do you deploy your website on github how do you deploy your website so to deploy your website you have to come to site now knowing fully whether you have developed your website already on your computer so you already have your website on your computer so you come down here you click on browse to upload now this is a website you already have on your computer edited done you might be using vsd code vsd code editor you might be using sublime test it doesn't matter but you already have this website uh, on your computer so you come here you click on browse to upload but if you have it on github you could just import from github directly but if you don't just come here and click on browse to upload now as you click on browse to upload now you're going to look for where the file is on your computer so i actually have the file here so now after looking your for the file here you're going to upload it now once you upload it it's going to tell you upload now the file you're uploading you are going to compress it and then upload it now github the platform will actually um extract everything for you and then it's going to upload automatically so as you see it's uploading it says don't refresh this page so please don't refresh the page so you give it some time as you can see publish deploy for eloquent this is the name they actually gave to the website or this is the name they gave to the um the file which i actually upload so all file uploaded so skip 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 so now if i go to site configuration i could see the site from this area so now what i could do is to click right click on it open it in a new tab now when i go here as you can see this is the site so this is the site guys this is the site so you can upload any website on this platform guys you can upload any website right here so it is very very easy now we have been able to upload our website on the git on the netlify platform so now we have to edit this link because this link look too shady it doesn't uh, look okay so let's edit this link so you go back to your github to your netlify sorry guys i, I actually make i make sometimes i make mistake between the both of them so sometimes when i say github i actually mean netlify so pardon me when i mix both of them so now when you come down what you click on change site name now on change site then you're going to give it this name of the website the um website name you want to call it so assuming um let's say the video is available so you're going to check if it's available then you click on save now if it's available it will save automatically so now if you go back to the site if you go back to the previous um, link you see that it will not be available but if you click on this new one now open site let's see now it is available now look at the link guys this is it now if you go back to the previous one this you try to refresh it it will go to a 404 page because there is no website right there so i think i'm having bad network connection bad internet connection but it's not a big deal guys so if you actually load it will go back to a 404 page so i don't want i don't want to keep wasting your time while we wait for it to load so i'm just going to continue with the tutorial now if we go back to our platform there are other things you could do right here you could edit the name of the site you could change the site id or you could copy the site id you could transfer the site you could also do some of the basic things like this the badge the deployment site members and all that stuff so guys this is how you can actually make use of the github platform i'll be able to explain everything for you guys on this github platform if you want to delete your github website uh, sorry your netlify website guys pardon me if you want to delete your netlify website you can come here and click on delete now also on this right side there are some tools that we added to your uh, website so if you click on matrix you see the number of people that actually visited your site so 
this is where you see the number of people that have visited your site but for to see this you have to pay nine dollar per month so sometimes it's necessary if you are running a, um, a very big site but for me i don't think it's necessary um because this is just an investment site so i don't need anyone i don't need to check the number of people that are actually the, um, the number of times this shows up on search or the analytics or i just need to do i have to see people that are actually registered on the platform so yes that is all for this tutorial so i hope you've been able to understand how you can use um the netlify platform to actually host your website my name remains victor and please if you have not subscribed to my channel please hit the subscribe button and um like this video if you have any question just comment on the description or, or the comment section of this video and i will try my best to help you out so netlify is easy you can just make use of it anytime any day to upload your website to test your website and do whatever you want to get so thanks for watching this tutorial guys there's another video that's going to pop up please watch that video and it will broaden your knowledge about web design and free web hosting so guys see you on the next video bye